Welcome to the discussion on problems on projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. The present problem is the fourth problem under projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. Now we'll enter into the problem. The given problem is a line AB 65 mm long has its end A 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of the VP. The end B is 40 mm above the HP and 65 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections of AB and show its inclinations with the HP and the VP. Now we will extract the data from this problem. Here the true length of the line is 65 mm. Then its one end of the line say A 20 mm above the HP and 25 mm in front of the VP. The other end B is 40 mm above the HP and 65 mm in front of the VP. In the case of orthographic projection of the points, the front two points are denoted by lowercase letters with prime and top two points are denoted by lowercase letters without prime. If that is the case, then we will see the position of the point A. A dash is 20 mm above XY line and A is 25 mm below XY line and point B's position in orthographic projections that is B dash is 40 mm above XY line and B is 65 mm below XY line. Now we will write the data. True length of the line AB is how much? 65 mm. From the concept and terms of projection of straight line inclined to both the plane, we know that a dash b1 dash and a b2 stands for true length of the line in this problem true length of the line is 65 mm in the case of this problem true inclinations that is theta value and pi value is not given then what else is given in the problem that is position of two ends of the line is given that is one end a another end b i mean two ends of position of a line is given in the problem and A is 20 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of VP. So the orthographic projection of and A is like this. That is A dash is 20 mm above XY and A is 25 mm below XY. That is A dash 20 mm above XY and A is 25 mm below XY line. Then on the end B is 40 mm above the HP and 65 mm in front of the VP. If this is the case, then B1 dash is 40 mm above XY line and B2 is 65 mm below XY line. So as it is first true length of the line, that's why we use one as a suffix. It is second true length of the line. That's why we use two as a suffix. So here, B1 dash is at a distance 40 mm above XY line. B2 is at a distance 65 mm below XY line. Here the true length of the line is given in the problem. Then what's our objective? We need to draw final projection that is A dash, B dash and AB. And we need to find the inclinations of true length of the line say A dash, B1 dash with HP and A, B2 with VP. That is, we need to draw projections of A dash, B dash, and AB, and we need to find the inclination of the line with HP and VP, that is theta and phi. Here, this is the basic information supplied in the problem. In addition to that, what we have to do, we need to draw this final projection and this final projection and we need to find the true inclination of the line with HP that is theta and true inclination of this line with VP that is phi. Now we will move towards construction of straight line inclined to both the plane based upon the data. Now we are drawing projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. As a first step, draw XY line. After drawing XY line, then draw projector. On projector, locate A dash as well as A. A dash is at a distance 
20 mm above xy line and a is at a distance 25 mm below xy line then at a dash and a draw locus lines parallel to the xy line in this problem true length is given but true inclinations are not given if true inclinations are given then directly we will draw true length of the line with true inclinations both in front view as well as top view instead of giving true inclinations they had given the position of under end of the line also that is b point position that b is at a distance 40 mm above hp and 65 mm in front of vp that means the front view of the b point that is b1 dash is at a distance 40 mm above xy line and top view of b is at a distance 65 mm below xy line so at a distance 40 mm above xy line parallel to the xy line draw locus line for b1 dash similarly at a distance 65 mm below the xy line parallel to the xy line draw locus line for b2 this is b1 dash locus line which is at a distance 40 mm above xy line and this is b2 locus line which is at a distance 65 mm below xy line next step is drawing true length of the lines in both front view as well as top view as we know that true length is 65 mm then with a dash as a center with compass 65 mm as a radius draw an arc on this line there you will get p1 dash similarly a as a center 65 mm as a radius draw an arc on this locus line here you will get point b2 then Join A dash B one dash A B two. Here A dash B one dash A B two are true lengths. After drawing true lengths in front view as well as top view, we'll draw top view as well as front view related to the true lengths. For that, what we have to do? Yet b1 dash draw projector vertically down at a draw a line parallel to the xy line that line cuts the projector at b1 this is top view then at b2 draw projector vertically up at a dash draw a line parallel to xy line that line cuts the projector at b2 dash this is front view and this is top view after drawing front view and top view then what we have to do with compass with a dash as a center a b2 dash as a radius draw an arc on this locus line with that you will get point b dash similarly with compass a as a center a b1 as a radius draw an arc on this locus line with that you will get point b this is b dash and this is b then join a dash and b dash a and b here a dash b dash a b are the final projections of the line these are the required lines so these lines are more darker than this true length this true length and this initial top view and this initial front view that is the final projections of the lines are more darker than true length as well as initial front view and top view then join b dash as well as b here a a dash b b dash are parallel to each other they are called n projectors
a dash b1 dash is true length and it is making an angle theta degrees with hp a b2 is the true length and it is making an angle phi degrees to the vp that is a dash b1 dash is making an angle theta degrees to the hp and a b2 is making an angle phi degrees to the vp a dash b dash a b are the final positions of the line here a dash b dash final front view and a b final top view we have to measure a dash b dash distance and a b distance and we have to measure the angle subtended by true length in front view that is theta and angle subtended by true length in top view that is phi here all these dimensions are in millimeters that's about the construction of projection of straight line inclined to both the planes visit again for more videos on engineering graphics the links provided under description of this video keep learning and knowledge sharing if you have any queries you can mention under comment section under this video i'll respond